What mistakes beginner climbers do on their climbing trips? So you go on a climbing trip and what do you usually want to do? Climb as many routes as you can and even your more experienced climbing friends tell you Yeah buddy just climb a lot, touch different types of rock, do as many different moves as you can and you will progress quickly. This sounds like a great idea but what actually ends up happening is you trying to flash or on-site every single route you climb. And as I've talked in the previous video, on-siting a route where you might fall is the scariest way of climbing. Fear often fills your trousers and you end up climbing from bolt to bolt. So these routes challenge your mind way more than anything else. And when you go down from such route, you're not thinking about going back and sending it. Because let's be honest, that route is not at your dream grade that you would want to project and also you don't really want to go through that scary part that you barely managed to get through nah next route <laughs> oh no result <laughs> I have already made three videos on overcoming the fear of falling and how to go from top roping to projecting hard roots and in this video I'm gonna talk about on sighting. No results. <laughs> so after nine days of a lot of falling no! Man! and sending really hard projects <laughs> and then celebrating a new year's We still had one day left. <laughs> First of all, to find out what song was playing in the party. <laughs> what the song? I need the name of the song, Lola! <laughs> then to try and on-site some roots. What's the plan now? Finding a place for pee. <laughs> and? And then on-site this. What is this? 6C, I think. So... No fall climbing, no take climbing. No take climbing. <laughs> this part doesn't look nice to fall. Okay, if I fall over there, I will fall on this ledge. No, you won't fall there. Don't fall where you don't need to fall. <sighs> the beauty of climbing is that every route we do is different. We have different shapes and types of rock. We have different movement puzzles to solve every time. We have different views and sceneries and that actually creates a huge challenge for our survival mind, the animal mind. It tries to be 100% sure that the situation is safe. But we keep putting it into the new situation after new situation with every single climb we do. Now when it comes to on sighting a route, it's like an exam for your mind. You can clip from here. Do you have already enough past experiences to go through every situation that this route has to offer you? Nice! <laughs> Just clip it. Relax one arm. It's a safe fall anyway. 
Yeah. Yep, um, a little secret. It doesn't matter how much you've been climbing and falling in the past, you will always end up in situations from time to time that will scare the fuck out of you. And that's totally fine. Take it as that little thrill which climbing gives us. Nice, try to finish all. And of course, the more you climb, the more confidence you will grow. And then eventually you will be thinking that, okay, this move, I never been here. I'm probably gonna fall, but that's okay. And you commit to the move and you just keep going. That was an amazing run. Thank you. It was fun. Nice. Besides of the start, I hated it. <laughs> like every route, I hate the start. But once you did a test fall, then it was okay. Yeah, then it was suddenly okay. Yeah. Now I need to get rid of these test falls. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I will never onsite any route. <laughs> Okay, now some practical tips how to increase the chance of success during your on-sites. Route inspection. So before you start climbing, step away from the wall, look up and see all the places where you might fall. And imagine yourself falling in those places. It's like, oh, that looks like a bigger fall, but it's clean air fall, so that's fine. This is a little swing, but with proper belaying, it's also fine. This is super important because the situations tend to look much scarier than we are in them. That little bit bigger fall might look like a massive whipper for you. And that little swing might be so scary when you will be on the rock. Hey you, you <laughs> sang our trick. Can you, do you know the name? So by looking from ground up, your mind will be a little bit more prepared for what's coming. Plus, you will get a chance to see good holds, rest positions, maybe the cruxes, and that greatly increases the chance of your success. We are looking for it the whole day. Popcorn? Popcorn? Possible. Possible I look. Communication with Belair. Talk to your Belair about all the places where you think you might fall. And while climbing, if you think that you are about to fall, it's a great idea to shout to your Belair, watch me. And when your Belair responds to you, I'm with you, or come on, go, venga, it's safe, it's much easier for you to commit to the move. Corn <coughs> song. Uh oh. Not true. Come on, man. Not true. He got it. <laughs> it's popcorn. Spanish era palomitas de maíz. Palomitas de maíz? Nice! Palomitas de maíz. You can sing it. Get psyched. You know that feeling when you were projecting a route for a while and you are already comfortable falling anywhere on the route and the route seems to just flow. So you can actually trick your mind into this feeling during the on-site attempt. Tell yourself, I'm gonna send this route. Of course my beta might be wrong and I might get stuck, but I will still try my best and I'm not gonna give up. And that way you might get into a flowy zone where you will not be thinking about falling, only about doing the moves. The plan is now to try to onside this 7A plus. <laughs> well, actually the plan was to see if she can climb until she falls without worrying about falling and just going all in. Ooh, good plan. <laughs> ah, yeah, very good plan. How do you feel about it? A little insecure maybe. Why? 
because it's 7A plus. So what? So what? You're you're right. Let's just try. Yeah, Anitra. my very best Anitra. <laughs> This road had very, very, very hard crux at the end and it was very unlikely that Hanna will send it but we had no time left to search for easier routes and this one already had draws on it so just last fun climb. This is a mini crux! Come on! Yeah! Anna actually managed to crush half of the route and then in the middle of the route she got a little bit lost with her beta. Go on, try hard. You're going left and up. Okay, cut on. Come on, fight, fight. Come. Keep trying. But it's been so cool to see how confident Hanna was at taking these falls on this route. I would never have guessed that only 10 days ago she took her first fall on real rock. Come on, come on, come on, yes. Come on, girl. This is the track? Yep. What happened to your fear of falling? Forgot it. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! 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 Uh, by the way, if you are enjoying my videos and want to see more, consider joining my channel's membership. Eh? Uh. What's that? It's a new YouTube feature. You can find a little join button next to my subscribe button. And I've already made this video where I explained everything in more details. Plus I shared some interesting numbers about the money. So please check that out because you might get more videos. Thank you. How was it? Fun! <laughs> Fun but I'm tired. And a little bit stressed because I know we have to leave today. I would have tried harder but... But as a school you made a fall without even worrying about it. Yeah. All right, give tips to these people who are afraid to fall. Outdoor of falling or yeah, indoor falling? Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Meet Ben. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me circle back a little bit to what I said in the beginning of the video that the biggest mistake of the beginners is trying to on-site every single climb they do. I don't mean that you should not try to on-site. I think the best strategy is to combine everything. You try to on-site and flash as many routes as you can, but you also try to climb and project something harder and also doing some practice falling. All of these things will give you different benefits. So what helped uh, the most, do you think? These test falls. Test falls? Yep. These test falls and y you definitely need to trust your belaying partner. And what helped me also is not to climb the easy routes. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Thanks for pushing me to that. <laughs> yeah, this was really amazing. And do practice falling in climbing gyms. You will save your precious vacation time and it's much safer there. No stupid routes. No stupid routes. Don't climb stupid routes. <laughs> Don't climb routes that are dangerous to fall in the first place. Yep. If the route is dangerous, climb something else. If yep. the beginning is dangerous, stick clip it. Clip stick it. <laughs> <laughs> when is the next vacation? In April. In April? So what's then? 7C. 7C. And it's April. And as you might know, the world went crazy. So we had to cancel our plan. We might do that in the future. We have more time to train now. And in fact, the world went so crazy that me being here alone in the forest, in the place which is the most healthy place to be, is actually not really okay to be right now. 
Löwenzahn. Let's go. <lacht> 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 <lacht>